Hi everybody, it's Derek with Use with Derek and the Brew and Happy Feed X23 on Instagram. And today I wanted to come out to come to you with a story of courage and a way that it applies. And not your normal like, oh go out full storm and fearless. No, it takes there's a process to get to that fearless faith. And the story I'm gonna reference is David out of his first Samuel 17, I think it was 17, yeah. And in here, he, the Philistines and the Israelites are going at it. His brothers are shepherds. He's a shepherd under their father, Jesse. So the older three go out with the Philistines and King Saul to go fight the war. And David stands back to tend to the sheep because it was his job. So he was the shepherd. And a shepherd's job is, this is where his growth was. A shepherd's job is not only to guide and take care of them, but to also defend them against the lions, the, sh the bears, any wolf that would come and injure or eat his sheep. So he built up his courage by defending his flock. And then there's a point where to go. I had it, cued, and lost it. When his brother heard him speaking with the men, he burned. He was angry and said, Why have you come down here? And whom did you leave those few sheep in the desert? I know how conceited you are and how wicked your heart is. You came down only to watch the battle. Now what have I done, David said. Can't I even speak? He then turned away to someone else and brought up the same matter and the man answered to him before. What David said was over, he, he, was overheard and reported to Saul. And Saul had called for him. David told Saul, no, no one lose heart on account of the Philistines. Your servant will go and fight. King Saul's like, you're not able to go out. Philistines, you're just a boy. And David said, your servant has been keeping the father's sheep. When a lion or bear came, I carried off the sheep from the, the flock, went after it, struck it, and rescued the sheep from its mouth. When it turned to me, I seized it by hair, the hair, struck it, and killed it. Your servant has killed both the lion and the bear. This Philistine will be like one of them, because he has defied the armies of the one of one of them, because he has defied that the living God. The Lord will deliver me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear, and he will deliver me from the hand of this Philistine. So then Saul said to David, Go, and the Lord be with you. And so that's what I'm saying for you today. If you're at a spot in your life where you feel you don't have the courage, that's okay. You may be at the baby step page. That's good. You may be taking on... Uh, the courage just to get out of the house. The courage to start a new job. That may be your beginning step of courage. And that's what I want to say to you guys. I was going to say encourage you, but that's saying a lot of encourage, encourage. But what I want to say to you guys is, no matter what season you're in, it takes an element of courage. But it's got to grow. Just as David's courage grew from protecting the flock to then going on to take on the Philistine, so does your courage need to grow in your life, just like babies. They get the courage to start crawling. They get the courage to, oh, I need mom and dad's help, and you start doing baby step walking, and they're like, oh, nope, I don't need training wheels. I don't need hands. I can walk on my own, and they do that. And for you guys, I want you to go out and to look at your life and see what season of courage or part of courage. Wow, I just noticed the... I got the sun in my face. I'm trying to figure out a good angle. I couldn't figure it out. It's not going to work. Oh, well. You should enjoy the sun in my window. Look it on my wall. But I wanted to tell you guys, don't lose heart or be di 
be down on yourself because you don't have the courage to do what you're wanting to do. You may need to step back and do small things to build up your courage, to grow your courage, so that you can take on the big thing that you want to take on. But it takes starting with the small stuff. Like David took on the bears and the wolves to protect his flock. You may have something different. Probably because you're not attending to the sheep, you're not a shepherd. You may have different things in your life that you look to that you need courage for. And start small, grow your courage. And once you've grown your courage enough, then you can take on the big things. And that's what I want to say to you guys today is courage doesn't just come on full steam. Just like plants have to grow, so does your courage. So does other aspects of life like wisdom and joy and peace. It doesn't just come. Sometimes it has to grow. And that's my word for today. May you all be blessed and encouraged. Have a great week. Oh, don't want to forget, if you have not accepted Christ, let today be the day so that everything I talk about can apply to you. It's as simple as this. Lord Jesus, I thank you for this day. I ask for your forgiveness for all sins I have committed and that you would come into my heart. You would clean me out and make me new. Go into all the areas of my heart, even the the door that I keep closed because it's just too, I'm too ashamed of it. Go in and even clean out that area of my heart and make me a new creation. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations if you have done that. And I pray that you would now find good godly people to come alongside you and encourage you today and the days to come. Because now you're starting a new chapter you got this new system. You don't know how it works. May you find a good people to help you understand this new way of life. Have a great day and be blessed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share.